Hey, what is up you guys? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. In today's video, I'm going to be pretty much doing a like practice art. This is just the image that I decided to do. I'm just practicing doodling along with and it came out pretty nicely, but I didn't finalize it or finish it anything like that. I just had some fun with it. But uh, pretty much today in this video, I'm going to be talking about ways how to improve your own creative workflow to make sure that your mind stays jogged so you don't get into a writer's block and ways how to protect your art if you're someone who produces videos for the YouTube like how I do. Um, so I guess we can start off with the whole entire protection thing. So for instance, for me, uh, in the past, um, I used to do just only Instagram where I would post all my artwork on the Instagram. So if you guys ever want to check out my older works that I've done, I have a lot of older stuff that I never recorded, but it's all on my IG and it's really cool work, a lot of professional work there that I did for clients and stuff like that. Um, but I had some of that work stolen and I needed to protect myself. So uh, usually nowadays, if you see pretty much in almost all of my newer videos, you'll see my watermark, the, my Instagram thing, the at diamonds, you see that in my videos. And I now put that uh, in my every, every single one of my videos now, I make sure that it's lower opacity and everything like that because it keeps thieves away because it's very easy to just rip something off of someone's video because the way how I seen it was in one of my older videos I was doing a portrait of a woman who commissioned me and uh, I noticed that there was another video somewhere else and they stole my video they just took the entire video put new music over it and a whole other voice over and I confronted them hit them with a copyright claim because this was a paid commission for someone who was using it for an album cover and so I had the rights to use my video recording because they gave me the rights for it and stuff like that and uh, I caught them and it was uh, they took the video down it was disputed properly and things like that but if you're creating uh, pieces of art for uh, media and stuff like that and if you're just doing it just for yourself or for a client make sure you watermark it put your tags on it signatures and little areas and stuff where it's uh, not noticeable to a would-be thief but a place where you know what's at and stuff like that and don't be afraid to do that just because it helps put an extra layer of protection over your artwork just in case you ever get stuck in a problem like that in the future and today I'm going to give you some of the ways how that I do it and probably the most easiest way how I do it is I actually have an app on my phone that pretty much like you push a button and it will shuffle some things together and it'll give you like a idea of what to draw and so that's what I usually get um, or if I'm just like watching something like let's say a YouTube video of like I said one of my previous videos I was watching like uh, people doing Olympian sports and stuff like that and I saw this particular body angle that I like so I rewinded it paused the video took a screenshot of it and studied the body that's another way if you're just drawing people but let's say you're drawing like more stuff like creatures or inanimate objects or things like that then the app will really come in handy and also just asking your friends and stuff uh, what I do on any Mondays is I put up a poll uh, before Monday usually Thursday or Friday I put the poll up and I'll have people vote on what I should draw if I can't think of anything for example this Monday I don't really know what to draw for any Monday because there's a oh my gosh amount of anime characters and I put up a bunch of stuff like uh, Naruto character self portraits or draw someone in a Katsuki form things like that just because I don't know really, really, really I don't really know what to draw so so yeah that's there and uh, it really does help out a lot when you have people who support you too because they can give you ideas all the time and it's not always good to shoot down ideas my girlfriend always gives me the most craziest of ideas and uh, it's weird because they're just really impractical like the other day she told me to draw an elephant that was a pumpkin with a skateboard and I was like what how am I gonna do that and so uh, I've been trying to draw that as practice and it's horrible because I'm, I'm not good at animals and uh, it was hilarious but um, it's always good to just draw whatever pops up in mind and if you let's say you're out and about at work at school or something like that and let's say you want to draw something or you have a like an epiphany a really great idea of what to draw then just write it down real quickly put it in your phone put it in your notes you know, something just keep it so you know what you're able to do that's what I do if I'm out somewhere out and now let's say I see a traffic pole and let's say my imagination gets the better of me and let's say the the traffic pole is 
now turning into a crazy candy cane with something else on top blah 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 you know something like that something crazy you know write it down real quickly it's okay it's not bad to do that and if you want to draw it later you can just so you have something on the mind just so you don't forget about it and that's ways how I do it and just don't be afraid to experiment with your artwork for example me whenever I draw my anime characters I try to add hints of you know urban lifestyle into it, graffiti maybe a little bit of baggy clothes here or there things like that not always the typical trope of anime characters you know heavenly armored big boobed and uh like super long flowing hair and blah 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 i usually try to add like an urban style to it like maybe some graffiti here and there or i might just like make the character not your traditional styled character if you will and if i'm doing fan art then you know fan art is fan art that's the most simplest thing if i ever want to do fan art all i gotta do is google the image look at it and then try drawing it simple as that but those are pretty much my ways how i keep my creative mind jogged and ready to go and ways how i protect my artwork from would-be thieves out there because trust me they do exist they are out there and they are lurking and you have to stay diligent and these are just some of the ways how to protect yourself how to keep your art yours make sure no one else tries to take it and try claiming it and try making a profit off of it because people do that it's all over the place and um ways just to keep yourself going but it is your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics hope you guys enjoyed this video uh this was a really cool drawing i did um i might finalize and color it later but uh yeah, it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell icon, all that bullshit. Make sure you check out my community page on my YouTube page to vote for what I should draw on any Monday. This coming up Monday, I'm going to start drawing it on Saturday. But yeah, your boy out.